This is the Pythonic Accountant, and in this series, we're going to actually go through some training that will walk you through how to create a Streamlit application, uh, starting today with a really simple Hello World application, but we're going to go more and more deep into creating, gener creating generative AI applications from here. So let's go ahead and start. I'm not going to go through all of the nitty gritty on setting up your environment or installing the Visual Studio Code. You can find lots of resources online for that. But basically where I'm starting from is I've already got uh, the most recent version of Python installed on my computer and I've activated the virtual environment. Here I'm using VENV. You can also use the Conda environment, which is what's recommended here. And But I have nothing in my virtual environment. So we're gonna have to now pip install Streamlit. So this is where we're starting here. And I'm using the 30 days of Streamlit uh, as my uh, starting point. So we're going to say pip install streamlet and whoops, that's not the right word. And what this is doing is this is installing the streamlet library into the virtual environment. It's going through and installing um, all the dependencies as well. And once that's done, we're just going to test it out and try streamlet hello. And what that does is that kicks open a hello world application. Now the way Streamlit works is, um, by the way, I'm using a terminal here that's within the Visual Studio Code. You can also use a completely separate terminal or command prompt um, that would just be in its own standalone window and would look more like this. So for now, actually, I'll show you uh, what that looks like. So once the uh, you know Streamlit uh, pip install completes, we'll be able to run it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my documents folder and trainings. And here I've got my um, a Hello World app that I created. That's a super simple one. It just says print hi. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. You'll see it should work. Python. Actually, i got to activate my virtual environment. It deactivates the conda that I don't use. And I'm going to activate the virtual environment. On a Linux machine, you do uh, source dot slash bmv slash bin slash activate and now I'm going to do python 01 hello dot pi and sure enough it gave me a high back that's what it's supposed to do okay so this looks like it's still finishing the install I'm going to type in streamlet here probably won't work yet yeah so it's still waiting to install but again, once this complete, we'll be able to try out the little Streamlit Hello app. Okay, looks like it is done. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, this screen on my little command prompt. And let's go ahead and try Streamlit Hello. And again, it doesn't matter if I do it in that prompt or in this one. So what this has done now is this is actually kicking off a hosted a web application and it's hosted locally. And what that means is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in the other browser. That means that it's not actually a real website. It's like a local website on my machine that uh, my machine's hosting, but I can access it by going to the link here. So this should pop open the actual running Streamlit application and you'll see uh, welcome to Streamlit and a little bit of information about it, some links. This is just, you know, we can click on these demos. It just shows you some of the things that you can do with Streamlit. So none of this stuff uses generative AI, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can actually incorporate generative AI into some of these things. The data frame demo is great because this is one where it shows how you can use a table, um, which is a very helpful one from a Python perspective. So let's take a look. Sure enough that you got a table format there. All right, well, that's it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna show how to actually write and run our own Streamlit application. It'll still be a simple one, but it'll be more than just running their basic Hello World app. Thank you.